hypothetical question. If you had the ability to poop, defecate, a million dollars, but the only catch is you have to do it in an extremely public place. Like, let's say, like, in the middle of, like, a mall where there's just people walking and you just have to do it, like, right there in the middle of everyone. But you got a million dollars for doing it. Would you do it? No. What? No? You wouldn't do it? No. I mean, yeah, it'd be embarrassing, but you have a million dollars! But with all those people and their phones... Like, yeah, and they're gonna be video. like, Dang, that guy's awesome. He has a million dollars. Just from going to the bathroom in the middle of the floor. When I was little, I probably would have done that for free. <laughs> I probably did. <laughs> Ask my mom. I bet she would vouch for me. Gross. You're crazy. You wouldn't do it for a million dollars. And not even like you get a million dollars. Like you... But it's clean. Like, it's not like you gotta, like, clean it up or anything. It's like, You're I don't know. Just like, pooping out clean. I, I mean, it's a hypothetical question. It's not like you can poop out money anyway. <sighs> it's a hypothetical question. Hmm. You wouldn't do it? No. All right. <laughs> what would be, what's your limit? $10 million. Maybe for 10. Maybe for 10. Crazy. I'd do it for one. Would you do it if every time you got a million dollars? Like every time you dookied in a public place, you got a million dollars. You, you, you dookied a million dollars. Like, in, in, okay, here, it, instead of actual, like, dookie, it was actually, like, money. Well, that's how, that's how we'll say it. You know, like the golden goose thing. Oh, okay. Where they lay, like, a golden egg. It's kind of like that. But it only works if you're in an extremely public place. Um, no. Not even if every time. Every time. No, because every time it would be embarrassing. Well, yeah, but your embarrassment's not worth a million dollars? No. Oh, man. <laughs> Sorry, you're going to have to make the million. All right. I'll stand on the sidelines and vlog it. Okay. Someone's <laughs> got to bring home the bacon. Look at this giant box of Pop-Tarts at Walmart. It's heavy. Well, yeah. 48 poster pastries. How long would it take you to eat all of them? 48 days. <laughs> you could eat more than one Pop-Tart in a day? No. 48. One day. You could eat 48 in one day. No. That's what you just said. You said 48 one day. 48 one a day. Someone couldn't wait till they got home to eat all their snacks. So this could potentially be Lucas's last softball game of the season. It could also potentially be the game before the championship game. So I'm just going to go with it like that. Yeah, they're going to be in the championship. But maybe not. So this could be it. Lucas can be kind of competitive. Kind of. So I'm nervous to see how he reacts if they don't win tonight. We already did my exercise. Let's do the exercise again. Okay. I said, win or lose, you're going to be what? Emotional. No. The answer is happy. Oh, try win it again. Win or lose, you're going to be happy. Okay, ready? Try it again. Win or lose, you're going to be what? I'm going to be pissed if we lose. No. Dang it! Wrong answer. Win or lose, you're gonna be what? Happy. That's right. Let's see some pull-ups. I wanna like, every time I do pull-ups, my arms are sore for like three days. Oh. Because I never do pull-ups. It's like using muscles that you don't usually use. So if I were to do that before this game, my arms would be dead. Not oh. a good idea. Okay, maybe after. Somebody made a funny smoke-free. No smoking anywhere in this park. Boom! What's up, establishment? Smoking's bad, kids.
do you feel? I feel emotional. <laughs> we won. Yay! Championship game, Thursday. Stay tuned. It all comes down to this. All season. Championship day! Yeah. I'm a little nervous. It, uh, like, when I was little, I played, like, every sport imaginable. Baseball, football, basketball, soccer. And I would get nervous for none of the sports, except for soccer, for some reason. Soccer, I would go out there when I was, I don't know, I was like kindergarten, first grade. And I would get so nervous before the games. Like, most of the time, there were probably a few Saturdays, if you ask my parents, where I would wake up Saturday morning when the games were and tell my parents, like, hey, listen, I can't go play. There's no way I can play today. I'm too nervous. And I actually missed a couple games because I just got too nervous to even go play a little YMCA soccer. But anyway, baseball, basketball, football, that stuff never affected me for some reason. But now, championship game, it's getting to me. I got, I got some butterflies, a little like, you know. Does little, your tummy hurt? Yeah, I mean, it doesn't hurt, but it's a little jittery. I can feel it. It's kind of nice. <laughs> Feels good. Yeah, well, I mean, I'd rather be jittery getting ready to play a championship game than bored sitting at home because I don't get to play in the championship game, sure. right? Sure, yes. Yeah. I'm showing my support today, wearing his old jersey. And we have matching socks. See my socks? I'm wearing socks too. Matching socks, matching socks. Yay. We have matching socks. So last night I made hamburgers for dinner and Lucas texted me while he was at work and he was like, hey, can you bring the Febreze to the game because my clothes smell like hamburgers. And I was like, oh, sorry. So brought the Febreze, and I'm gonna spray him. They taste so good, they taste like hamburger. All right, let's make you smell good. Whoa, whoa, I don't need a shower. <laughs> sorry. Right. Go, Lucas! Go, Lucas! Go, Lucas! Go, Lucas! Team picture. Hey, rest of the team picture. Photographers of the team picture.